This video covers information on how to work safely with ropes and nets, as well as the importance of maintaining your equipment. Working with ropes and nets can be dangerous. It's important to follow a few helpful tips to keep yourself and others around you safe. Keep your ropes and nets in neat and tidy bundles and store them away from chemicals and contaminants including fuel, oils, hooks, shells and other small and sharp objects. This is to prevent the ropes from damage or trapping things that could injure you or others. Frayed or damaged ropes should be discarded to prevent anyone using them and injuring themselves or others. Keeping your ropes and nets maintained is an important part of fishing. It makes fishing easier and you're going to catch more fish with a good net than one that's full of holes. To maintain your equipment, clean and wash your ropes and nets after each fishing trip. Remove any dead fish, jellyfish tentacles, sticks, seaweed and other objects from your net. Store your equipment neatly and out of the weather, especially the sun. Not washing the salt water off or leaving your gear in the sun will make it weaker and cause it to break quicker. Let's look at some examples of the types of hazards you need to be aware of when using ropes and nets. Here is Jeremy. Jeremy went out on the water to do some reef fishing. When he found some fish, he dropped the anchor, but the anchor line was old and weak. While Jeremy was fishing, the old rope snapped and he lost his anchor. Jeremy and the crew were not able to fish anymore and had to return home. It's important to only use rope that's in good condition and able to do the job. The next example we will look at is the hazard from not storing your rope. Once they found a good fishing spot, Jeremy signalled to the deckhand to chuck out the anchor without noticing the hazard of the rope tangled on the floor of the boat. As the anchor rope fell to the sea floor, the deckhand's leg became tangled in the rope, causing him to be dragged overboard without warning. This hazard can also happen with nets. Buttons, watches, belt buckles and other items can get caught in the net and drag someone overboard. Remember, always store your ropes and nets neatly and away from where people are standing. Keep a lookout for loose rope or net that people could trip over or get tangled in. Now we'll look at a similar situation involving crush injuries. Jeremy asked the deckhand to pull the anchor, but the anchor was stuck on the reef. The deckhand called out to Jeremy, the anchor's stuck, and then wrapped the rope around his hand to try pulling it free. Jeremy quickly put the boat in reverse, but the deckhand still had his hand in the rope. As the boat pulled on the anchor line, the deckhand's hand was crushed. Never wrap a rope around a part of your body. Always pull ropes using an overhand technique. Always make sure people are clear of ropes before pulling, especially when using cars, boats or machinery. These scenarios show how pulling in an anchor can expose you to a range of hazards when using ropes. These same risks apply when using ropes in other ways. This is why it's important to look after your ropes and nets and learn how to use them properly to ensure that you and others stay safe at all times. For more information on how to use nets safely, please watch the videos on how to deploy nets from land and boats.